Hello! Today we're going to talk about auto transformers. I know I've been away for a little while, but I suddenly find myself with a lot more free time on my hands for no particular reason. So I figured I'd start working on this series again. An auto transformer is a transformer with a single winding. In an ordinary transformer, you have two windings around a common core. The ratio of the number of windings on one side and the number of windings on the other determines the ratio of the voltage in and the voltage out. Only AC, though. The auto transformer has one winding around a core, and then on one side, you tap off on both of, on the full length of it, and on the other side, you only tap off on a portion of it. And the ratio of the windings on the primary side to the windings on the secondary side once again determines your voltage in and your voltage out. It looks like a dead short to me. I imagine it would catch fire, but it doesn't. In theater lighting, we normally are using variable auto transformers. These are sometimes called variacs, although that is technically a trademark name. From 1934 to 2002, it was held by the General Radio Company, and from 2004 to present, it was held by the Instrument Services Equipment Company. 2003. Like a resistance dimmer, an auto transformer uses Ohm's law to its advantage. However, with the resistance dimmer, you were adjusting the resistance of the circuit, thus the name. With an auto transformer, you're changing the voltage. Voltage goes up, voltage goes down. Voltage goes up, voltage goes down. The voltage ranges between zero and, in this case, 117.6 volts. And the resistance, this is the same single cell 500 watt psych light that I used for the resistance dimmer demo. Isn't it adorable? Ranges from 5 to 28 ohms, and the amperage thus ranges from 0 0.14 to 4.17. If we then turn to Watt's law, we are increasing the voltage and the amperage, which means increased wattage. A variable transformer has the single winding around a core which is bent around into a circle. You then have this little arm on top that allows you to change where you are tapping off that winding. Let's look at it as a diagram and hopefully that'll make more sense. So we have our common neutral hooked to both our source and our load and this end of the winding. Our hot comes in and is hooked to this end of the winding. Yes, this looks like it should just short out. And then the output goes to this arm here, which we can then sweep either from out to full. The numbers on the dial are not percentages. Assuming that you have 120 volts in, these are the voltage that you'll get out from 0 to 120. The advantages of auto transformers over regular transformers is that they are lighter and use less material. They are not light by any stretch of the imagination, but they are lighter than they would be for a normal transformer of a similar capacity. They are also much more efficient. If you remember from the last video, the resistance dimmer, even when it was at 0%, still drew about 80 watts. This auto transformer, when hooked up to the same load, only draws 18 watts when it's at 0%. That's not great, but it's better. Also, an auto transformer does not have a minimum load like a resistance dimmer. This is a 15 watt lamp, and you can see that it is able to dim it all the way down to zero. And then, bring it up. Light goes on, light goes off. They are still available, usually in little single dimmer units like this. You can actually get one on Amazon right now for about $90, as long as you like red. Um, and we've used them on a number of occasions here, usually for dimming, say, orchestra lights or backstage running lights, uh, situations where we need to dim a light so that the audience doesn't see it, but we don't need to control it during the show. Um, anyway, that's all for now, and thanks for watching.